Welcome back, beautiful people of Pickleball. Today we have a special treat, a new paddle, something fun to talk about, and that is the Gamma RCF Airbender. Check this bad boy out. This is a good looking paddle coming out of Gamma. So the first thing you're gonna notice with this paddle is it has a multi-hole design for speed and agility, as well as I believe to give a little flex to the paddle and add to the sweet spot. You'll get a single Zorbicon shock buster and you have the ability to adjust this paddle in multiple different ways. Because if you'll look here at the butt cap, and I know you can't see it very well, but there is a little hole here, and what you have to do is just pop that bad boy out. There we go. Boom. So, there is an additional package you can buy with this paddle. It retails at $199.99, and you can buy for $24.99 the different weighted shock busters. So kind of cool and that we're moving into the realm of customizing your paddles as we talked about in the last one. The other cool thing is you'll be able to buy different weights to put into the butt cap. So you'll be able to really adjust the swing weight of this paddle. The Airbender has a raw carbon fiber T700 peel ply in the fine grit. So actually if you feel it here, if you hear that, it's not rough or coarse like I like to see because you feel like those are really going to grab the ball and, and give you the spin. So my initial take on this paddle was it looks really good, but with the fine T700 on here, I always question how much spin am I going to get with this paddle. The other thing that I questioned was with the multiple holes and the weights and abilities to customize this paddle, um, is it really going to make a big difference? So here's what I found. After playing with this paddle for the past week, I will tell you that it plays really well with or without the Zorbicon shock buster. Um, but I did prefer to have this one in, which is the lightest one and the only one that I have, the one that comes with it. Um, matter of fact, let's see how much this guy weighs. So the Zorbicon shock buster comes in at 0.21 ounces. I'm going to pop this guy right back in here. And the paddle comes out of the box at a whopping 8.3 ounces with the Zorbicon shock buster. So it was actually really quick in my hands and I didn't want to like this paddle. Uh, I'll just be really blunt and honest with you. I didn't think that I was going to enjoy playing with it. I didn't think that the spin that I was going to get from it would be comparative to the Ruby that I've been playing a lot with. And um, so I wasn't super psyched, but I've got to tell you that this week has really changed my mind on it in that this is one of the most playable paddles that I have ever played with. It is super fast at the net. The drops are really, really consistent. And I would say the sweet spot is one of the largest that I have ever hit in a pickleball paddle. Uh, I actually love that it doesn't have a raised edge on it as well. And in the end, I think uh, my overall take was this is a paddle that I really would enjoy playing with. The, the, the downfalls of it are the pop. I would say my drives from the baseline were not as hot as with the Ruby. Um, definitely not as hot as with the Power Air. But I will say that the drives I was hitting were really solid and giving me pretty easy fists. Um, the ball shape was surprisingly good. Uh, I would say my go-to would be like an 80% drive from the baseline, and the shape of that ball would get it to where we were getting um, not pop-ups a ton, but much, much easier fits. So the overall playability of the paddle was fantastic. The speed at the net was really nice. The swing weight of this paddle was comparably lighter than the Ruby I've been playing with. Probably like 115, 117 would be my guess. Um, and it was super stable. So I've got to imagine the twist weight is, is higher than most, probably the upper 70th percentile. Uh, as I said, this paddle has an exceptional sweet spot. So here are the specifications. The core material is a polymer honeycomb. The core thickness is 16 millimeters, which is what I typically prefer. 
So um, it makes sense that I, I like the overall feel of this paddle. The paddle surface is a Torre T700 raw carbon fiber face. And like I said, it's a fine grit. When you're rubbing your fingers on it, you don't feel it that much, but it does end up grabbing the ball really well. It is an edgeless paddle, so there you go. That's why I liked it. Um, it's thermoformed and has the foam-filled edges like most thermoform paddles do and a molded foam handle. Its average weight is about 8.5 ounces. As I said, this one came in a little lighter than that at 8.36, and that actually fared well for me in testing it. The length is a traditional 16 and a half inches for an elongated paddle, and it's seven and three eighths inches wide. The grip length is five and three eighths inches and was plenty long for my two-hander, um, <laughs> even though I must say my two-hander is such a, a work in progress right now. Uh, I digress though. And the grip size is four and an eighth inch inches, uh, which feels really nice without an overwrap, but with a single over wrap. I really enjoyed playing with it. And uh, you get your traditional gamma signature honeycomb grip that comes on the paddle. So you can see that guy right here. I'm personally not a big fan of this, but I do like the shape of it. And you know, if for some reason you're like me and you don't like it, you can just pull this guy off, put a couple of over wraps on and you'll be ready to rock and roll. So as I said earlier, the adjustability of this paddle is one of the, the big uh, selling points of it. It does come with the Shockbuster, the Zorbicon, don't forget that word, Zorbicon Shockbuster, uh, in different weights. So the one I have is a 3 gram, which is the lightest. It also has a 6 gram and a 9 gram, and you can order three additional weights for it for $24.99. The other adjustment is the paddle end cap weights, which will also come in a 3, 6, and 9 gram packet. I will say that the adjustability of this paddle is nice, and I do think that if I chose to play with this for a long time, I would play with the different weights to see how it felt, uh, especially depending on whether you're playing singles or doubles. I think in the age of performance, which we're moving into in pickleball, it's very important to be able to know yourself, your game, and your paddle. And if you can consistently get that same paddle, I, uh, I believe it'll do nothing but help your game. So to recap, I want to say that I didn't want to like this paddle in the beginning. It didn't have the rough face that I was looking for. It came in out of the box a little bit heavier than I thought it should be when I initially weighed it. Um, and, and the overall adjustability I thought was kind of gimmicky. Uh, what I found after playing is that the shock absorber did add a bit of control to the paddle and I I'm wondering if I got to try some of the heavier weights in the butt cap as well as the shock absorber hole, that that would change it even more dramatically to a more control oriented paddle. This is not a power paddle. This is an all around all purpose paddle. And I will say that even though the grit didn't excite me when I first got it, there was plenty of spin with this one as well. I would definitely recommend this paddle to anyone who is taking pickleball seriously. I think that if you're going out and having fun with friends, that there are plenty of paddles around $100, maybe a little less, that you would enjoy just as much. But the extra $100 here is going to give you a consistency in your sweet spot. Um, it's going to give you a little bit faster hands up at the kitchen line. And I think those two things are, are one of the most worthwhile things when you're trying to get to that 5.0 level. So I, uh, I give Gamma uh, kudos on this paddle in that, the ingenuity is there. I, I think it's very cool that you can customize your paddle. Uh, but I will say that at the $200 price point, there are some other paddles that will hit it harder and spin more without all the gimmicks on it. So take it or leave it. I think that uh, overall, it's a quality paddle. And I'm happy to report that Gamma is coming back and creating uh, more unique and interesting paddles. Hey guys, I appreciate you sticking with me and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the review of the Gamma Airbender. Uh, I just wanted to take a moment here at the end to thank you for watching. Uh, I've been putting out content for the past three months, been really enjoying and having a good time doing this. And uh, I hope you've been enjoying it as well. If you have, if you could just do me a favor to grow the channel, just take a moment and hit that subscribe button, maybe like the video, or even throw me a comment telling me what you think or what I could be doing better. Uh, until the next video, Ciao.